Ubuntu server and get it on Calm Vault, we need to first make sure it's updated and also make sure it is, um, you know, got the correct IP, make sure that the, um, the, the timing is the same as the Active Directory domain controller and make sure our NS up, or rather our NS, no, our domain name server, the NS IP address is the, the one that's actually on the, um, the Active Directory server so that you can get internet basically to it. So this is how you set up both an Active Directory server, um, rather you join a Ubuntu to a domain and also is, is getting um, Ubuntu uh, to surf the internet from a Windows server or Active Directory server in our case. Meaning basically the Active Directory server is on the internet and it has a 172 network, a second IP or a second NIC card basically that all of the other uh, servers are talking to. And from there it's connected to the internet, meaning the DNS name or the DNS IP is the, um, the um, IP address of the domain controller. So let's look at first how to set up your IP on your Ubuntu server, uh, get that ready, get all that good to go, and then we'll look at our domain controller and make sure that the same uh, IP, you know, do domain name server on there. So from this prompt, you see sudo-s, right? So how do you get there? So when you first pull up your Windows or your Ubuntu server, it's going to prompt you with a dollar sign. Let me get to that, so I'll just type exit, and that'll prompt me to my dollar sign. Exit, so exit again. Looking for that, that dollar sign, basically. Okay, um, so now we'll do sudo dash s. That logs us into the root. So we put our password in for the root. And this basically is like administrator mode, basically. For you Windows folks, uh, running command on how it works, how this works, and all that. So what you're going to see is when it's in sudo, after my password is the correct one, if you will, it's going to pull up with a, uh, a hash, which is uh, what Shift three looks like, and um, it's taking its sweet time. Fantastic. Okay. Next thing you want to do is you want to do a server you just type in sudo apt get update and um, it took a long time for mine so I'm not going to do it on here but uh, just to show you how it works uh, it's sudo apt get update is the command instead what we're going to do is we're going to do nano which is nano is like um, so you have you have cat which is uh, I can see it cat eyes or cat you have nano, which is edit, basically. I think vi as well. But nano and, and cat are the two. Cat is I can read it. Nano is I can edit it. So I'm going to go in the Etsy folder. So anytime you in Linux, um, and most things are done from the Etsy, basically. So we're going to go in Etsy, and we're going to go ho um, we're going to go network um, interfaces. Enter interfaces this is um, your this is like a you're statically assigning an IP address um, to your net your interfaces you may be asking uh, well how did you get there what is all that stuff how did you get that well it, um, if you're familiar with Windows let me just exit control X out of that um, if you're familiar with Windows, you you know IP config, right? Well, this is IF config. So IF config tells you the interfaces that are um, on your inter and you're on your server. And I've already set it up already. I'm just showing you right now um, the interfaces, right? So your interface names are e they used to be E T H O or eighth O, right? But now it's for whatever reason, it's ENS160 in this case. I mean, the more interfaces you add, it changes the name like 192 and all this other stuff. So you want to know the, first you want to know the the interfaces you're changing, right? And I only have one interface, so that makes it easy. 
Um, so if I wanted to change this, I would just do that command up arrow again, and then go nano uh, Etsy. Um, let me actually show you the cat real quick here, how it looks. Cat. Okay. So I can't edit anything. It just shows me, right? So let me do nano and edit it. And you, you see here, you see that um, you can edit anything really here, hash mark, whatever. Anytime you put a hash mark in front of something, that it comments it out. For instance, that'll comment it out. The machine's not going to read it. Like, okay, I don't know. In my case, I had to add this in. So auto the inface name, if name. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. 160. Oh, look at that. How did I miss that? Oh, whatever. So ENS, inet, static. That's the um, um, interface network, static, or interface, basically. Address is the address you list. Your net mask, which is like your CIDR, your slash 24. Your broadcast domain, um, usually it's, if it's, um, it's going to be uh, whatever your, your network is or whatever your address is, it's going to be like, the end is going to be like dot two five five. Your gateway, your gateway is the first device um, that all of your your machines hit. So it's a router, it's a switch. That's the first device it hits before it goes out somewhere else. For instance, in our case, the ESXi host doesn't, I only have one NIC on it. So I create, just created a, um, a default gateway in the, in the, um, uh, uh, in the uh, ESXi host. So I named it 192.168.30.1. So that's my default gateway that I'm hitting. Um, it doesn't go anywhere. But normally if you have a switch or a router, uh, I put a default gateway, that's the first device it, it hits before it goes out to the next device or the internet, what have you. Our network, of course, you just drop the, you just drop uh, at a zero. I mean, not always the case, but in our case, it's dot zero. And our name server, this thing is really critical here. Without this, you can't get on the internet. 100%. Well, not this setting, but another setting. You can't get on the internet, no matter what, from this. And then uh, finally, your DNS ser uh, search. So that's the we're setting up our our garlic dot local, uh, garlic food dot local. Let me show you the interface that makes the internet possible, basically. So I'm going to exit out of here. You know this is good. And I'm going to go no because it didn't. Oh, you know what? I actually did change something. Let's go back in. Let's go here. We did do something. We go INN. Okay, 160. Yeah. Okay. Again. Okay. No. Okay. What happened there? Exit. Nano. Again. Uh, my inter okay, cool. Let's go back in. I think we'll put uh, 160. We'll go Control X. Exit. Yes. Yep. Saving it there. So let me show you the actual where you're going to put that interface portion so that you can get on the internet. So for instance, you know, you have, again, you have a Ubuntu server and you don't want to waste an IP. Some type places you only give you one or two or three IPs public and you want to make sure you just access the internet from it. So in our case, we're just going to, just going to show you it's cat slash Etsy slash resolve dot conf push enter. And you're going to see that at the bottom. I didn't change the first one. The bottom one, the name server, that's how you get the internet right there. So for instance, if you if you wanted to do it like this, um, if you wanted to, for example, you don't have, um, let's just say you don't have, um, um, you don't have a domain no, uh, controller, right? So in, in that case, you could just put Google's um, DNS server. Yeah, you could just do that and that would, take the place of the 172. You could do that either way. Um, so in our case, we have a, we have 172, but we already have our, and I'll, I'll go over and show you really real quick what that looks like. I'm gonna exit, and yes. So notice I didn't make it um, a, a setting. I just put a little, you know, a hash mark. Don't read that basically, but that's what you type in there, name server, Google is 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Okay, let's go over to the domain controller. I want to show you that 172.168. 
uh, rather, 172.16.30.2. So I'm on my domain controller now, and I want to show you, so I have two interfaces. This interface here is my external, meaning it goes out to the internet. It goes out to the cloud, or it goes to the internet, the world, basically, right? All that stuff. Look at all those nice packets, right? And then I have my internal, which is my, um, that's what I'm accessing the internet from, this guy right here. You click on details. So this is what I was talking about here. So this IP address, this domain controller, is 192, or rather, 172.16.30.2. And you see the subnet mask, of course, is a slash 24, CIDR, or 24, you know, slash 24 um, subnet, which gives me 255 hosts, really, not 255, more like 250, uh, 253? Right, so zero and two to five are probably not. They're probably taking network and broadcast will be those two. The zero is network, two five is uh, broadcast, and that's how I'm getting the internet basically right here. Is from this guy right here. That's exactly how I'm getting it. So, what's happening is my Ubuntu server, um, my Windows other media agent, you know, all the servers basically, they're coming in. And I'm putting the domain name server as this guy here. So from him or this Nick, it's going through this Nick out to the internet and get me you know, browsing the internet, whatever. That's how that works, by the way. Just as easy as that. So, okay. This has been a tutorial on how to get um, your IP set up, internet working on Ubuntu box. Um, the next one's going to be about setting up your domain could or rather setting up uh, Active Directory on a on, on the same Ubuntu box actually. If you like this video and you want to see more please jump on to my course which is I have two courses one is at getajobinit.teachable.com and the other course is on Udemy. It's learn backup and restore with Commvault get a high paying job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.